Okay, so in this uh, quick tutorial, hopefully, I'm going to uh, clean up the model, meaning, uh, well, maybe not clean up the model, but add bevels on the interior lip, All right? And also adding bevels here. Let me hide the grid. It's really annoying me. So that's the gray line. All right, so like uh, over here, and over here, and over here, and over there. And I think, uh, yeah, yeah, inside here, this lip, and these little, you know, corners, right? Can, can, cannot forget the corners. As well as these corners, that one, that one, and that one, and that one. Yeah. So we're going to do that. And also over here, unless I already did these over here. Anyhow, so that's what we're going to be doing. So uh, this one, I'm going to uh, hide it. I'm going to press H, as in Henry, to hide it. Then I'm going to pull up my originals. All right. So let me work with the top one. Yeah, I'll work with the top one. But before I do that, um, you'll notice uh, the history, right? This is the construction history, right? And the issue is that there will be moments where, unfortunately, things might happen to your model if the construction history gets longer and longer and longer. Like this one is primed, primed so that I should uh, delete the history. I already have one student where unfortunately something happened to it on the underneath side on the beveling and it was too much hassle to just to correct it. So, and I, I believe the student when the student said that they didn't make that mistake, it was fine before. I, I believe, completely believe because that happened to me and it's, it's annoying, you know, so. With that in mind, I'm going to delete the history. So I grab both of it, select it, make sure you're in object mode, right? Green, green, select it, edit, delete by type, history. You see the channel box, right? That's edit, delete by type, history. And uh, once you get used to that, uh, it's also also here this tab. See, delete by type history. Right here, that, that looks like a time and it looks like little lines of writing. So that's to represent history. So try both of them out. Okay. Again, that's the modeling panel uh, tab as well as the modeling uh, menu set. See? All right. So, so with that out of the way, grab this. I'm going to hide it for now. Press H. Let's look at this guy. Press Q, hide the gizmo. All right, oh, looks like I got those ahead of time. Um, let me do this side here. I right, right click and hold, go to edge mode. And now I'm in edge. I'm gonna just try first. Let me um, turn on symmetry to object X. So that anything I do on one side, in the X side, the other side will copy. All right, save some time. I'm gonna click. Let me see what happens if I double click. Okay, cool. So if you notice, if I double click, um, it's gonna wrap around. Sometimes it'll work, sometimes it won't, depending on how clean the geometry is. In this case, it worked. So I just grabbed that edge, right, the interior. I'm going to go shift, right click, bevel. Remember, I'm in edge mode at the moment. All right, there we go. So I'm looking at it. So I'm just comparing the bevels I had previously, you know, to see if it's, uh, um, you know, it makes that, to see if it makes sense, basically. Right click, I'm going to right, I'm right clicking and holding, I'm going to go object mode. Cause I just want to look at it like this. 
I'm looking underneath. He's saying it, you know, visually, do I like it? Yeah. It doesn't stand out in a bad way. Okay. So that one, I had it set to 0.35. Right? If you want it to be, say, tighter, like 0.3, you can choose to do so. All right, so I'm looking underneath, zooming in, here and here. Yeah, maybe 0.3 would be better. It all depends on your taste. So I left it at 0.3. And the way I got this again is you select it, and you click on this. Last tool used. Okay, super useful, especially when you need this guy. All right, so that part's done. Now, uh, what else? Let me look underneath the interior. I want to bevel this. Right click, edge. I want to double click. But that didn't do anything. So that part didn't work. I'm holding on shift. As you can see, the plus sign on my cursor. All right. Make sure you select all of it. Same thing, shift, right click, and hold, bevel, edge. Boom. This one's set to 0.35. All right. Yeah, let's just leave it 0.35. Go object mode. Yeah, that's nice. All right, cool. So we got both interior lips. Now, I'm going to work on the top. Right click and hold edge mode. I'm going to double click. That doesn't do anything. Select, select, right? Holding down shift, All right? And I'm still on symmetry. And that's uh, shift, right click, bevel edge. All right? This one's set to 0.35 as well. I think it's a bit too much. I want a bit tighter. More clean and sleek. Maybe what? 0.25? Or 0.2? So I left that 0.2. I like 0.2. Yeah. And I'm leaving this interior corners alone, right? It's just better to leave it. When you have too much of something, it's just not good. So I'm just leaving it alone. Next, over here. Um, I'll select that. Remember, since I have object X, it follows along. Click, click, click. All right, nice. Remember, object X is on this side, right? Left to right. Here's my front. Shift, right click, bevel edge. All right, don't mind this, it does that. And uh, it's at 0.35. And I wanted a point two. Yeah, point two is better. It's just enough to make it semi cartoony but still pretty tight. Slick. So that's point two. Other side. Cool. Now let's do uh, this side. You see right here? But this one is um, the axis is uh, front to back. That's your Z. See that Z in blue? So zoom in. But before I do that, object Z. Bam. I want to click. I double clicked. All right. I double click. That is a jack. Double click. And click. I'm holding down shift. Remember, I'm holding down shift. So shift, right click, bevel edge. All right. Set to uh, what, 0.2. Right. So I had it before. Yeah. Now you notice since I have object Z, see, it worked on the other side. So it saves some time, save hassle. Okay, good. Right click, object mode, click outside. All right, so that part is done. So that was like, uh, what, nine minutes? We're good. Very, very good. Clean. Be fun. I'm gonna turn off my symmetry for now. Turn it off. I'm gonna hide 
my top cube with I'm gonna show my bottom by pressing H as in Henry. Let's see if there's anything I need to do to the bottom, just in case. Looks like I did everything for the bottom. Oh, except for down here. See this down here? So, okay, I'm gonna work on this one, just this part. Turn on symmetry, object X. So, it'll get this side for me. And then I'm just going to click, 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 click. And just make sure to press 4 so you can look underneath. Press 5. Make sure nothing else is selected. This happens a lot. A lot of students ruin their model by accidentally selecting more stuff. And there's once you do it, there's no going back. Now shift, right click, bevel edge, boom. Maybe I want it to be 0.3. Just looking at my other, comparing it to my other bevels, just to get a variety to it, I'm comparing it to this, you know. It's kind of like your line drawings. You know, you don't want all of your lines to be thin. You don't want all of your lines to be thick, you know. Yeah, okay, we're fine. I'm gonna turn off my symmetry. Now I'm gonna also show my top. Press H as in Henry. Press R for the rotate. Hopefully you guys went up to this part where I moved the pivot point, which is always useful for multiple things. Alright, so that's 12 minutes. Okay, looks, um, looks like we're good. I'm gonna compare it to my other model. Alright. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I didn't catch that down there. Alright, good. We caught everything. I just double check. Is there anything else? I think that's everything yeah that's everything all right so that's the end of this tutorial all right bye